All right, all right, all right. It's Book Talk Tuesday here at Bookbound Bookstore. And I want to share with you Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. And before I get into what I think about it, let me tell you what he says that it is. Yes, it is a memoir, but he also says it's not a traditional memoir. Um, Yes, I tell stories from the past, but I have no interest in the nostalgia, sentimentality, or the retirement most memoirs require. This is not an advice book either. Although I like preachers, I'm not here to preach and tell you what to do. He goes on to say, this is a playbook based on adventures in my life, adventures that have been significant, enlightening, and funny, sometimes because they were meant to be most meant to be, but mostly because they didn't try to be. And as he goes on, he talks about how he is definitely an optimist and how he has taken things in his life that could have been bad and turned them into green lights. So you can definitely hear the voice of Matthew McConaughey all the way through this. Um, his humorous nature and um, his take on life. So I think that you would really enjoy this. He includes poems from when he was young. He's always kind of loved to write according to this. So um, he's written some poetry through here. And he writes this book as he turns 50 years old and kind of takes a, a look back at his life. He leads up to the only thing that he's ever really wanted in life, which was to be a father and to have a family. So this book goes right through the time uh, that he is married and has his children. Um, You see how he uh, handles the roles in different movies that we all know him for, Um, how he, uh, you know, got into the rom-com part of, Hollywood and how he ended up coming out of that and back into more uh, dramatic roles for himself. But he's a very, very introspective person, and I think you would enjoy learning a little bit more about how his take on life can take things in, in our own lives that we might think are not going very well and turn them into green lights. I also want to share with you another book um, that I finished a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and it's also nonfiction and a memoir by Trevor Noah. Uh, it's called Trevor Noah, Born a Crime. Now, whether you're a fan of Trevor Noah or not, this book really gives some good insight of uh, what life was like during apartheid. And he, in his title, he's truly born a crime because it was a crime for his mother and his father uh, to get together and to actually have him. Uh, At the time he was born, they were still under apartheid and his mother was black and his mother and his father is white. So at the time that was against the law. So he was literally born a crime. But this gives us a good insight about uh, what life was like in South Africa during uh, apartheid and just after it as well. Um, It's funny. uh, It's lightning. And enlightening and it's heartbreaking at times uh, so if you enjoy memoirs I think you will also like no uh, no Trevor Noah's <laughs> born a crime so I, I hope you have a wonderful day um, and see you next time on bookbound bookstores book talk Tuesday bye